What's up guys, Dogs Life here. I wanted to bring you some more Battlefield 4 Domination gameplay. This time we're going to be playing on one of my old favorite maps, Gulf of Oman. It came out in the Second Assault DLC in Battlefield 4. You got to play four of the old Battlefield 3 favorites. You got to play this map, Gulf of Oman, Operation Firestorm, Operation Metro, and Caspian Border. So we're playing Gulf of Oman. We're at the B flag with my squad and my team here. And I'm trying to hold off these enemies from running in and capturing B and getting my team out of there. So I'm pick, pick, picking it, guys, like I just did there. I'm running assault as per usual. I've got my go-to assault weapon in Battlefield 4, which is the L85A2. I know you're like, what? Like, what the fuck? Like, that gun? Yeah, that gun. This, this is my shit. You see dog's life game and running around on the map you're playing on and he's got his l85a2 he means business he's not there to fuck around he's gonna be dropping your team and you all over the place like i'm doing right now i got my coyote on there and i can hit guys at range with a suppressor not that time but i get the assist counts as kill so it counts it counts in my book but yeah, I love my L85A2, and if you guys have watched any of my videos ever so far, then you probably already know what my secondary is. I'm sure it'll come out here in a little bit. I'm not even going to tell you. I'm going to let you stew on that. But when I do go to use it, I don't think it'll be a big surprise. Anyway, we're pushing up to B right here. We have C, we have B, we have A, but they're starting to take back C. I don't know why I shoot at this guy. He's like literally halfway across the map. I just want to fuck with him a little get a little bit, get him out of the street there, keep him on his toes. You know, I gotta keep him thinking. Oh, as I'm thinking right there, checking out my spot, I get killed by Mr. Support. Their team was also very good. I'll let you know I played a few rounds of domination today on this squad and this team, and versus that squad and that team, and it was some close rounds coming down again to like 20 to 0, 30 to 0, nothing like that one day where I had a 2 to 0 game of domination final score, but definitely some close rounds, played out really, really well. When I see that these guys are rushing over there, I try to get this guy, get a little help from my friends. I'm going to push over to A. I'm taking some shots. I'm trying to get around this little barrier. I'm like, oh, I need my health pack. I'm healing up. I let the Blue Braves handle some business for me check my surroundings and I'm on my way I'm like come on squad mate we're gonna hit this corner and I'm gonna push up into this high tall building and you're gonna go capture it I'm running smoke whenever I play nomination for the most part I will run smoke one reason is because when you want to capture an objective like I'm probably gonna throw one here maybe unless he's already captured it so I don't waste it but when I'm running in to capture a domination point I usually will throw some smoke down right on the flag and then I'll you know jump inside the smoke and grab some cover and obviously it's a giveaway that we're capping it but they already know that they can see the freaking letter in the circle going they know we're in there capping it at least they can't see me and I'm not running flashbangs because they're OP as fuck. And anybody that's running the flashbangs right now in Battlefield 4, you're a cheap fucking prick. I don't know what I was playing some Rush this morning. And it seemed like I was playing against the squad. Every single one of them was running the flashbangs. I mean, it was literally, they just throw these flashbangs all over the MCOM when you went in to arm it. And then you're blind as a bat for fucking five minutes straight. And they go in there and clean you up. I was like, I can't even deal with this. I can't even play with these guys. Anyway... Do yourself a favor, don't run the OP flashbangs until they patch it, it's just bullshit. Run a grenade, run smoke, use them tactically, use them like they're supposed to be. I'm sure DICE will be fixing them pretty soon. That's my OP flashbang rant for you, I'm over it. So we're back into the gameplay here. Our team has C and we have A. They're starting to take back A. It's a close match. We're actually down right now, 244 to 220. Keep your eye on the scoreboard while you're watching this gameplay because it will definitely go back and forth. I try to take that guy out, but he, while he's shooting, backs up around the corner. I just don't trust it. I'm like, I feel like he's going to peek. I'm trying to peek this corner. It just glitches out. It won't work. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to reload my shit. And I'm going to come up around the back way. Nah, or I'll go straight through. So I go straight through. I'm checking my surroundings. B is already captured. I'm like, you know what? We have two out of three. That's what you want to have when you're playing domination. You're not going to get all three for very long all the time. If you do, you're probably just steamrolling the other team. It won't be that fun anyway. But you always want to try to have two out of three. That way your team's getting kills and bleeding tickets. But if you have two out of three flags, you are bleeding their tickets. And it makes a big difference, let me tell you. Like right now, they just got two out of three flags. 
and you can hear that infamous siren in the background, you know if you play Golf of Oman on Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4, there's the sandstorm rolling in, and it's about to get pretty crazy. That's what I love about this map. See it in the distance, all that sand pushing in? You can see it just billowing in there in the background, and that is awesome. Once the sand comes in, don't run any lasers because you're going to be a dead giveaway when you aim down sights at somebody with your laser on. They're going to be able to just shoot your laser out and kill you. I don't. I turn my laser off. I usually run a green laser sight a lot on Domination, but I turned it off on this map because I don't want to give myself away. Here's the sandstorm. It's in full effect now. It's blowing like crazy, and it's nice. You can still spot people, but as from the spring patch that was a few months ago, to spot somebody, you really do need to ADS or get your crosshairs immediately over them. You can't just spam uh, spot like you used to be able to when the game first came out, which I love the fact that they fixed that. That way it's not a complete Dorito shooter all the time. But you can still spot, and you can still spot with the dust storm. I remember before the patch, a while back on Golf of Oman, if there was somebody pretty far away, even if you could clearly see them, you ADS, had your crosshairs, had your sight on them, it still wouldn't spot them because of the sandstorm. Um, so it was kind of weird, but I kind of like the way it is now. So this guy's shooting some nades over at him, one of the blueberries. He's like, check it out, Dog's Life. I'm going to kill them with my grenade launcher, my noob tube. I'm going to use it and put it into action. I'm like, you go, blueberry. Oh, taking some shots. I'm like, good thing there was a little cubby here. I'm laying down smoke. See how I do that? I lay down the smoke, and then I cut across this way. Whoever was shooting at me, if he is looking for me, he's probably going to go straight down that way. See, I cover. I come back around. I don't see anything. I'm getting sniped from somewhere right there. Oh, Got him down to 38 health, but he put that JNG90 right in my face. And there was not too much I could do about that, guys. Fucking snipers. Oh, fucking snipers. So I'm spawning with my guys. I'm like, come on, guys. Let's get this ship back together. We're down right now by pretty much like 10 or 12 tickets. We need to come back. Let me help you with that. So I take him out. See those skills. See how I avoid, evade, use smoke, heal, and then I get a grenade right in my face. I'm like, watch me. I'm a pro. I will do this, and then I'll heal, and then I'll get fucking blown up by the grenade. Yes, it happens to me, too. You're not the only one, okay? You're not the only one. Put the Dorito on that guy. There's shit going across everywhere. I get a little piece of him with the shorty, but I knew I wasn't going to catch him completely. Once again, I do get cover, evade, and heal, and reload my shit. That's what I try to do as often as possible. That's why I like running Assault on almost everything. I mean, I'll snipe on Conquest. I'll run Engineer and Support every once in a while. But I'm just an Assault guy. I don't know what to tell you. That's my role. That's my role. I think snipers get a little over-glorified sometimes on YouTube and everywhere else. I know it is fun. It is fun sniping and getting headshots and long-range kills. Trust me, I did it a lot when Battlefield 4 first came out because he had a lot of long-range maps. Sniping had changed a bit from Battlefield 3. I do enjoy it too, but when I'm really trying to play the objective, I'm not a great sniper for that. I can snipe with the best of them if I'm just fucking around and trying to get kills and hanging out in the distance. But if I'm playing the objective, I gotta be Assault. So that's what we're running. We're running Assault. I'm looking around, I'm like, you know what? Let me see if I can kind of help them from inside the building. I caught, I heard some th footsteps there, but I did not. I'm like, oh, I see a guy laying down, but somebody already took him out. Let me get up top here and take a look around. So we have C and we have B. They have A, so let me push over to A with this squad mate. He looks like he's about to get taken out on the left. He does. I'm like, there must be a guy right around the corner. There is. I drop him, but I get dropped from another guy over there. And that's been happening to me a lot in this particular round. I'm not getting like batches of kills, like two, three at a time, four at a time, like I usually do on Domination. Instead, I'm getting a kill and getting killed, getting a kill and getting killed. And that's because I'm playing against a good team. I'm playing against guys that are running in squads that are kind of sticking together and helping each other out. And I'll admit I'm a lone wolfing it a little bit in this round. Sometimes I'll really help my squad mates and stick by them. Sometimes, you know, they're just not always going to the flag I want them to, so I just kind of split apart. 
but that can definitely affect the gameplay when you're not sticking with your squad. Right here, I decide to stick with them. I'm going to post up and try to take some shots. Drop that one guy. Let's reload. See who else we can catch sleeping here. It's tough to see through all the sand and the smoke, but I see a guy over there. I drop him, but I get a little help from the squad mate. I think he ends up getting the kill. No problem. Checking my surroundings. I'm waiting for a guy to come around this corner again. We have B and C locked right now. Notice the scoreboard changed. Now we're up 133 to 115. Significantly took another lead there because that couple seconds, I don't know, 60, 80 seconds, a minute or so, we were holding both flags. We are bleeding their tickets right now. 133 to 109. 108. 106. See, we're bleeding them. And they're, they're instead of pushing up like they should, they're just kind of defending A. Now we take all three, so we're really going to bleed some tickets here for a second. Uh, but they will start spawning in in another place of the map because we're over at A and they'll be able to take something. See how they're taking C on the other side now? If you look on the bottom left. But that few seconds just a minute ago, those few minutes there where we were just bleeding their tickets, that's what wins games of domination. It's just little parts of the game round right there where you can hold two out of three flags for a significant amount of time and take a lead. And that's what we've done. 126 to 91. It is certainly not over. They could do the same thing to us and they'll be right back in it. I see a couple targets. I saw that guy running toward me. This is where I take up position in this room for a little bit. And I'm just going to lay some dudes down. I'm going to use the shorty because I don't know if I show you in a second. I thought I did. I'm out of primary ammo. I have nothing left in the L85. Or I have 17 rounds. I'm sorry. I have 17 rounds. But pretty soon I am going to be out. I'm going to try to get one more kill with the L85. Use these 17 rounds right here. I just wasted half of them missing that guy's face. So now we're down to 8 rounds. I think that's when I realize it in any second here. And I'm like, you know what? Instead of 8 rounds, let's switch to the shorty. Here we are. There's a guy. I'm waiting to line up the shot. Drop him. One shot him with the shorty. I'm like, me and the shorty around this little corner here, I can do some dirt. Now, I would run out worry about us not capturing flags, but we still have two out of three. Now we're losing one of the others. I drop that guy with the shorty. I rev this guy. I give him a full rev. I don't give him that little bullshit rev. Anytime I can, I'll give him the full patty cake there. He's probably going to get dropped again. Ooh, I got a piece of that guy. Come on. Ooh, I just reloaded it. I pressed the battle log button on accident. And I finally get taken out with a nade. We're up 16-6 in first place right now. But we had a nice little run with the shorty in that room. We're going to be spawning back in. And we got to crank things up a notch. We're killing them right now. 103-65. But it is just never over in a game of domination. Playing against a good team like we are. They could easily still come back. I mean, there's still plenty of time. 98-65. It's not that big a deal. 30 tickets isn't much drop this guy there's just so many targets this guy's running up thank god i missed with all three shorty shots but he takes him out that guy's down i'm like i don't know how i just survived through that mayhem just complete madness right there i'm like let me lay down some smoke while i reload all my stuff i can stay right here on b flag i like where the support guy's going this blueberry oh no i didn't see that guy at all and he drops my blueberry come on man that guy's not fucking around. Nietzsche Ego Shot. He is not playing. But don't worry. We'll find him. We'll find him. We'll fix him. Okay? This shit ain't over. 87.44. There's still time. I can't knife through the wood. I'm a little depressed about that. I'm like, I thought I was going to just bust right through there. So many targets there. I'm getting hit markers for days. But with the suppressor on, my shots are a little bit weaker. And I stay off the map, but I'm not dropping guys. I gotta put a lot of bullets in them to drop them at range. But that's okay. I'd rather stay off the mini map. That's how I play. If you watch any of my videos, I don't talk about it a lot, but you will probably notice that nine times out of ten, if not ten times out of ten, I'm running a suppressor in Battlefield 4. I mean, if it's just like stupidness where we're just running like shotguns, everybody's running shotguns or something, then yeah, I won't do it. But a lot of the time, I'm running a suppressor. I spawn back in off my squad mate. This guy comes crazy around the corner. I see this other guy. I manage to drop him, jump over my squad mate, get around the corner. But unfortunately, I came face to face with that dude. He lays me down, and he lays my squad mate down. 
couple of those support guys on the other team are just trashing our guys. Trashing me, too. My guy's in combat. I'm like, let me get back in here, take that guy out. Ooh, but I get a bad spawn. I get shot with the bulldog over there. That's what happened to me a lot on this round. It's just bad spawns. I wasn't checking my surroundings all the time. And that can hurt you. It can hurt you. Hurt your KD a little bit. You know, kill, die, kill, die, kill, die. It just gets old. I want to get like three, four kills in a row. And then if I go down, I go down. And I have some rounds like that. Watch the scoreboard here. 60 to 24. We're trying to close this one out. Throwing down some smoke as I flee the scene there. But I laid down smoke so my guys can still capture it. I'm taking some shots for a second there. Take C. Once again, I go to one of my guys' aid. I drop him. But there's just two, three guys waiting for me to come around that corner. That happens a lot to me in this round. But we're trying to finish it out strong. We're 51-21. Our team's doing pretty good. I'm following my squad mate. I don't know if he's going to go to A. I'm going to work my way over to A. Because right now they have two out of three and they could come back. I mean, if they hold that for a little bit and all of a sudden it's 19-19 or something, okay, could definitely fuck it up. So I'm trying to get in here, capture the construction site, capture A put us back on top because now we will have two out of three in just a moment here and they are getting dangerously low on tickets we don't even need to get that many kills we just need to bleed them out at this point but once again they're going for c they're trying to take it back they're really dragging this one out they're trying to come back if they can i see that they've got two out of three now they're bleeding our tick our tickets but it's okay our guys are about to capture b and then we're going to close them out they're down to 10 tickets Throw some smoke down. Now they can't see us. We can stay here and camp it. Try to close it out. 30 to 7. 30 to 6. I'm going to kill this guy. Hopefully here and make it 30 to 5. Ooh, with the shorty right in the face. Oh, look at this guy too. What's your name? Hello, sir. Boo with the shorty kill again. Help them close it out. 29 to 0. Close game. That's a pretty close game, domination. You know, they don't always get that close. It was pretty intense there at the end, but we managed to pull off the win. Let's see how we personally do. Not too bad. Second place, we go 23 and 12. Guy above us in first place has a great round, 32 14. He does extremely well. Even the third and fourth place guys do really, really good. We close it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy my videos, please leave a comment and a like. Any support is much appreciated. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow the channel. We can grow it together. Share my videos with your friends. I'll have some more Battlefield 4 and some Battlefield Hardline gameplay coming very, very soon. This is Dog's Life, and I'll see you in the next video.